Hi everybody, it's just been raining very, very heavily. Now the bees finally out. You see that yellow lump on her leg? All that is pollen. So we're having all the bees working very, very hard, collecting loads of pollen. Now I saw something very interesting. <coughs> over there, my neighbor, and you see them, he has a lot of beehives over there. So this morning, it's a pity I forgot my phone at home, but I saw a huge swarm, two swarms for my beehive, and a swarm came from there, and they just had like a fight in the air. Very strange. And uh, since then, I have many, many soldier bees in the entrance. You see the bees that are not flying out? These are the bodyguards of the hive. They are guarding. You have up here, down, and the entrance. They are guarding the beehive that you won't have any other bees trying to enter and steal honey or nectar or pollen or even attack uh, you know the uh, the hive now what i did because it's winter and again we're trying to help the bees you know have them as much as we can so usually the entrance of the beehive you saw i put that little plank of wood now there's a little angle to it where's my finger one second why can't I see it? Oh, sorry. You see this little angle, small angle. Now, usually the entrance is from that bee over there, over here. It's a huge, it's a big entrance for summer when it's very, very hot here in Israel. Now, because it's winter, I close the entrance a little bit because uh, I want, you know, the heat, the heat not to run out and I'm trying to help my bees as much as I can. Now, let's see. The wind is starting a little bit, so the, all of them are flying inside back but you can see all the worker bees coming inside with loads loads of pollen on their legs the yellow lumps it's amazing actually how much pollen these bees br bring to the hive so, yeah now the little you'll see a, I don't know if you can really catch it in the camera but there's many swarms of bees now I do see a lot of times from there you have huge swarms of worker bees coming in and then suddenly you will see all the soldier bees shooting out and you have like a little battle in the air and then the neighbor's bees goes, uh, goes back there to their home. Now I don't know why they're fighting because look there's many many flowers over here. He has a huge pasta, pasta sorry, over there with many many flowers. There's some flowers over here as well. There's, a tr there's many lemon trees. You know, there's a lot of flowers around. I don't understand why they're trying to rob my beehive, but I do need to, uh, you know, make sure it doesn't happen. <laughs> now here I put some more straw in because the rain filled it completely up. And over here, the leaves I put are doing a great job because last time I didn't put leaves, there was only soil over here and it was all muddy. I had huge puddles of water over here. So everything is dry. Over there they have a dry spot under the roof. These guys, all these guys are doing fantastic. The baby quail, baby ducklings and chicks as well. I just put some weeds inside for them. They're very happy. Yeah, so for now, I'm not really releasing any more Boris the Plymouth Rock because I am seeing the male uh, breeze chickens starting to uh, try to, uh, you know, try to... How you say it? They're going on top of the uh, female chicks, okay? Now, I want a pure breed breeze. I don't want to mix it with Plymouth Rock. So, for now, what I'm going to do, if I am letting the Plymouth Rock outside to roam, so I'll just close the breeze and vice versa. So, I just wanted to give you a little uh, update and some interesting points about the beehive. Have a great day, guys. Hope everybody's safe. Do a like, do a describe. And have a fantastic week. Thank you for watching.